Yo yeah, guys, I'm treating the code, um, continuing the code for my car B0101. I'm discussing my airbag light is on there and um, also checking the but I'm more concerned with the, with the airbag light. And you can see my horn is no longer working. Testing it directly from the relay there, as I showed you guys earlier on, it worked properly. So I've got my airbag ribbon, as you can see, indicated here. It says five tons. If it goes beyond um, the five tons, you could uh, snap the airbag ribbon. The one on this guy is possibly bad because it's connected. Uh, the horn is connected to this ribbon, that's and all these um, other controls here are connected to the ribbon. And uh, as you can see, it's not working again. I've been noticing it when I was turning my sometimes there's a way I'll turn my steering, the horn would, would work, and there's a way I'll turn the steering, it wouldn't work. So I've been suspecting my ribbon uh, was going bad. So right now I've got to my ribbon. I'll show you guys. All you have how to do there is the tox. Um, there's a tox screw behind, be, beside the uh, inside the steering wheel here. One, as you can see, just right beside the cruise control switch, and also another one here again. You loosen those two tox screw. After you loosen them, then you would uh, take out. You take out this. Um, airbag here but be careful you should first of all have your your car switched off key off the ignition before you proceed so now I've taken off my screw it didn't come out but I've taken it off from them I'll show you guys you carefully take off your airbag carefully so you won't break it take it off from the down up and uh, sorry, my video quality. Then you take up this wires, just take up this wires carefully. And um, so as you can see, I've taken off my airbag, I've carefully placed it down here. And this is what I'm about replacing this ribbon behind the steering wheel. So I'll take off this 19 nuts and um, continue from there. So guys, I'm uh, thinking of my 19 knot and my steering wheel was a little stuck on so I have to tap it left to right, left to right a little bit to get it off and when you get it off you be careful because of these wires, then you take off these wires too. Yeah, so now I'm thinking of my steering wheels just by taking off the 19 knot, I've taken it off. And um, the next thing is just this easy fix, the airbag ribbon, I'll take it out. But before you continue, you should make sure your steering, your wheels are uh, centered. Then your ribbon, your bind is also centered. Afterwards, you can also still go for alignment to align the wheels to the steering because you can't be 100%. So to take off the ribbon, you would have to take the screws off to take off this plastic so you can have access to a certain sockets that are here. Show you guys. So now I've taken off these two screws and there is another one down here. That you still have to take off. After taking that one off, you get on this plastic, then there's a socket you take out here to so have a uh, ability to take out this ribbon so you're able to replace your own center, making the side face top here as written here. Yeah, I've taken out the screw and I've taken out this rubber. Then this plastic, then you'd have to um, make your steril adjustable. Press this one down and take off this plastic. Then there's this clip down here that clips this. Um, um, airbag ribbon to the steering wheel, so you would um, have to unclip it down below here. Another one, I don't know, I'll show you guys, but there's a clip, there are clips here. Let's see if you can follow my finger, there are clips inside here. It's quite simple to follow down through. Let's take it off, take these clips off, then you take these wires off, then you just wiggle your airbag ribbon gently, then it will come off easy. It's because I'm having just one hand and nobody to assist me with my cameras, that's why I'm just. Uh, not able to show you guys the process. Yeah, it's it's quite a bad ribbon. Is it? It takes um quite some wiggling to bring that. Then I brought it out. And just a bad ribbon, and that's the ribbon I'll be replacing carefully. And um, these ones are just simple, simple um plug and play stuff. These ones are just simple plug and play stuff. You plug it in, take it out. This one as well. Simply just uh, plug it in, plug it in, and take it out. It's simple. And this one goes over here like this. Goes over here like this. That's how I just take it out and um, 
it's time for me to put my ribbon as you can see it's taped here so it won't turn out of um, its setting on its own but this is how you put it you put it inside like this then the reverse of how you took it out is how you couple it to save time and um, show you guys um, how the airbag light goes out and how the home works after I fix my oh, new this. airbag ribbon and uh, I'll be using a, a duct tape to restrain it from turning when when I'm fixing other parts mistakenly so I'll just stop it somehow like this tape it down like this so I'll be able to take it off after I'm done fixing yeah so I've restrained it here and here so it stopped so it won't turn by mistake when I'm working on another part fixing it so now what I'm going to do is um, first of all I would uh, return this guy back to where he belongs here and I'll fix this two handle and uh, the rest just the so guys, just for a final show I have fixed my I've changed my ribbon the airbag ribbon it's set in place and um, you can hear that my my horn is working fine now and um, let me stop my car and show you that my airbag light see, is gone. my car and the airbag light is out this blinking one is because I'm not putting on my seat belt and um, I will rectify the check engine light later on so you can see the airbag light is gone and my horn is blowing fine and let me show you guys something I'm also replacing my horn I'm replacing my horn I'm changing it into this other type on this motor type this air pump type I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds as well so that's how to fix the code B0101 airbag condition where your your horn is not also working fine so now it's sharp <laughs> Yeah, and then this one the one I took out, so uh, I'll have it blown. Let me blow the one. I'll have it blown, so you guys will see what it sounds like compared to the initial. <laughs> so that's how it works. And my airbag light is gone, my horn problem is gone, and I replaced my horn. It sounds better now.